I'm on a track day and I can see flames, flames coming, coming out, out of here. Watch where the fire is. Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today, I'm down here at Fire Safety Stick with Andrew. Hiya. Um, and today we're gonna look at fire safety. Now we are building a kit car. I also have a car which I use for track days and things like that. Yep. And in the future, I am looking to put a roll cage in and bucket seats. Now that is actually gonna impede the amount of time it takes me to get out of the car. And I've always in my mind thought I need a fire extinguisher. Now, of course, we had a chat. If you've watched our videos at Stonely, we actually had a chat with Serge and a few other people and they explained the benefits of fire stick, which is hence why we're here today. Um, so if you'd like to introduce sort of what it is so that everyone can yeah. kind of get an idea for it. So most people typically recognize one of these as a one kilo dry powder extinguisher. Actually weighs about two, two and a quarter kilos. Uh, great, very effective for putting the fires out, but there are some disadvantages. First, which I think shocks people, is the fact that the discharge time from this is just seven seconds at best. Seven seconds. Just seven seconds. So literally one to seven. That's it. Wow. Right? Okay. Also, it can leave an awful mess everywhere and it oh. actually damages it. So it can damage the engine, the wiring. Oh, and by the way, if you inhale any of that, as you may well do as you're discharging it. Of course, yeah. It's going to give you respiratory problems. You're going to be in the bathroom for several days and your heart rate will be elevated up to about 170 beats per minute. So... Great putting the fires out, but obviously there are issues with that. There's, yeah, there's definitely drawbacks. And the thing is, I mean, people will recognise these because usually they're mounted in a bracket in front of your seat, kind of under your feet, aren't they? Yeah. That's where most people mount them there. Or on a roll cage or out the back somewhere. Yeah. And also another thing just to touch on. So these generally last about five years, but they need to be serviced every year. Now, sometimes you don't need to if they were just on a wall in a room temperature, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. But in a vehicle, because of the vibration of it, because of the temperature fluctuation, that powder inside can com compact together. Okay. And now the issue with that is, remember we said about seven seconds? Yeah. Okay. With that situation, if they're not being serviced every single year at extra expense, yeah. then that can go down to just three or four seconds. And seven seconds, I mean, if you've got your engines, you know what I mean? You've lifted the bonnet, yeah. big and you're just, seven seconds will go quick. Yeah. Four seconds, A, you've made a mess, you probably haven't put the fire out, and then you lose your pride exactly, and joy. Exactly, exactly. So, what we've got with the fire safety stick is we do two models. So we've got, which is, the case for most people is absolutely fine. This is a 50 second discharge time. Now, I just want to touch on the weight. So we said about the fire extinguisher that actually really weighs about two and a quarter yeah. kilos. That weighs just 215 grams. That is nothing, is it? Okay. Works in so all major right. classes of fires. Yeah. Okay. It lasts for 15 years. Remember we said five years for the normal extinguisher yeah. and servicing of you? That need, doesn't need to be serviced about either. Say, no servicing. But the thing with this is 50 seconds. I mean, it was eight times the duration and no mess? No mess whatsoever. So we've even had examples of people having a car engine fire, uh, putting the fire out with like a car breath fire, putting the fire out straight away with yeah. it, then being able to drive home. You're joking. So I mean, the, I mean, yeah, if you had a fire, you, you're you getting a trailer home. There's, yeah, there's, oh, yeah. You're not driving home. Yeah. But I mean, if, if it's something simple, mm. like could quite easily be something burns out or something like a exactly. core pack could get too hot. Exactly, just... yeah, yeah. So how do you use one of these? So how activating would... it is really simple. So basically what you would do is you take the top cap off, and you throw that away. That just protects the end part here. And then basically just pull the end bit out. And you basically, if you can see, we'll do a close-up maybe of the yeah. end bit and they strike. A bit like a box of matches, just wait from your body and just strike it like that. And then it will just start emitting. That's it, yeah, exactly. So wow. it just then so starts it's, discharging straight from it's it. It's kind of foolproof. I mean, there's a fire extinguisher. Don't go, I've used a fire extinguisher and they're, they're scary to use. You have to know how to use it. You could quite easily, if you had like a CO2 on or something, burn your hand. You could send stuff everywhere, which I have done personally, um, <laughs> as we chatted about earlier. Um, and I mean, like you said, it's not heavy, it's not scary, it's not loud, it's yeah. not, and it is just a case of cat, light, yeah. point. And another thing, especially with the vehicles as well, one thing to bear in mind is, if that's not secured properly in the vehicle. It's a projectile, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. and also it can easily drop, and if it drops, that could also activate it with that mess everywhere. I mean, it, it, just, just for the perspective of, of holding them up together, I mean, you can see, this one's going to emit for a lot longer mm. and more chance of putting the fire out versus this, and which is heavier. Yeah. Effectively older technology because this yes. is the more, yeah. the newer, better. Well, mm. we'll say better. I mean, yeah. this will put a fire out fine. Very effective. If used correctly Correct. and if maintained correctly. That's it. And that's the, the big advantage about the fire safety stick is you can use it obviously without any training. Yeah. One thing to bear in mind with fire extinguishers as well is obviously you have certain types of fire extinguisher for certain, certain types fires, or yeah. classes of fires. 
Um, and obviously you don't want to get them wrong, because obviously if you use a wrong extinguisher in a, a cooking oil fire, for instance, make it worse, couldn't you? you'd create a fireball. With this, it works on all major class of fires. So they don't have to worry about what it is that's on for any, any fire. Exactly. So basically it's class A, which is solid flammables. Yep. B, flammable liquid, so that's petrol, oil, diesel. C, which is gases. In electrical, it's certified up to 100,000 volts. So even at home or in the workshop, yeah. perfect. And yeah, even uh, cooking oils and fats as well, which makes it quite unique. So, I mean, obviously I come here looking at this thinking that this is for cars, when really this could be for your camper vans, because cars, they're all caravans mm. and that kind of stuff, because you're cooking in there. Yeah. And let's be fair, everything's carpet, wood, electrical, yeah. uh, fuels, yeah. gases, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then obviously looking across to your wall here, we've also got other things which we'll, we'll pan over to in yeah. a minute. Um, so the two sizes. Yes. So I said earlier on, that's a 50 second discharge time, so a minimum of at least 50 seconds. Yeah. On average, probably near a minute, actually, to be honest. Uh, and then we also have this, uh, this bag boy, which is actually 100 seconds discharge time. Okay. So to be honest, again, 365 grams. So again, yes, it's, it's not much size, heavier. It's not much bigger. Okay, yeah. it's just a little bit longer and that's it, really. And it, but it works exactly the same way. Again, you take the top bit out and you just strike two together and that's it. Um, another advantage of these, because it's got such a long discharge time, and because once it's going, it's going. Yeah, so you can't is, stop it. Yeah. But once again, if you're in a confined space, so let's say, for instance, inside a motorhome, for instance, yeah. you can activate it, leave it in that confined space while you then escape to safety. Yeah. See, okay. I mean, that, that goes back to the cars thing. So if you're harnessed in and you've, you've had a crash, let's say, and the fire's started in the, the, yeah. the footwell of the passenger yeah. side, you could quite easily just grab it, especially because you, there is other brackets available yeah. for, for different mountings and stuff. You could grab it because it would be recommended to be near you from your yeah, seating yes, position. absolutely, yeah. So you could light it and put it towards yeah. the fire whilst yeah. then you make your escape because yeah. you may be impeded by a bent door, yeah. this yeah. kind of stuff. Another example of what's happened as well is people have had um, fires effectively underneath the engine or underneath the car. Yeah. So obviously you've not got the space to be able to get a fire extinguisher underneath there yeah, at all. Yeah, of course, because sports cars are, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so what you can potentially do is yeah. activate it, and if you obviously point it underneath it, but you can even just throw it underneath the vehicle if necessary yeah because you're thinking about your own safety so you yeah get of course safety. Well, i mean everything like this is fire extinguishers and the, the stick is to get you away from the yeah. problem but if you can deal with the fire in a safe manner yeah because obviously we most people have done some fire training at some point if you can deal with it and it's safe to do so you're going to protect your asset whatever that may be and also stop it spreading to exactly. something a lot larger what a fantastic thing and so the the two things i mean like you said they, they can be used on anything yeah anyone can use them I can't, I can't see why everyone wouldn't have one. It, it, really, it really is a no-brainer, what have you. So, again, they, as I said, they all come with a sort of nice simple clip there, which for most situations, I was about to say, absolutely fine. At Stonely, after I saw your stand, I, I was walking around Stonely and you could see them in between the two seats. Yes. People had either riveted or screwed them in just literally yeah. there. So yeah. you can just grab exactly. and go. Exactly. So another option is, of course, you can actually purchase a separate or an additional clip. Yeah. So you've then got... The two clips holding it more securely like that. Yeah, which obviously yeah. means you can give it a good grab. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or even we have this now, which is um, actually 3D printed. So again, you've got the two clamps on either side. Yeah. Uh, and obviously you've got the Velcro straps holding it in place. And these are actually available either as flat mounts that can be screwed onto the dashboard or something like that, for instance. Yeah. Uh, but also um, with different sort of um, radio cutouts of there. So it fits onto uh, a roll bar. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. So then obviously then you can have it in the perfect position, whether that be here, exactly. here, there. Yeah. Whatever, and I mean, it is. I mean, the kit car. I, we'll get to the point where we film ourselves getting in and out of the bucket seats, but it's not pleasurely, and it does take a few seconds to get in and out. Now, if you can imagine, some of that's maybe damaged, and yeah, I can see, I can see how the, even if the mm. fire was at the front, you just chuck it in before exactly. your feet and, and carry yeah. on. Um, if we move across to the wall, then you can show us some yeah. of the applications because obviously I'm focused on the car aspect, but the bigger picture is a lot more. Mm. Let's take a wander over yeah. to me. Okay, so now we're here at the wall. Do you want to talk us through some of these? Yeah, absolutely. So our, our aim actually is to ultimately get into somebody's home because that's where it's really going to help save somebody's lives. But what we're doing is actually we're doing it on different sectors. So for instance, cars. We actually originally launched it with the cars, especially with, funnily enough, the kit cars yep. and the motorsport as well. So the rally car fires, it's been really, really popular. Um, and also, actually, it's now into Formula One as well. Oh, cool. Um, so it really has picked up. Uh, also in things like uh, marine, so in the boats, commercial yep. vehicles, Touring caravans and motorhomes, again, because we mentioned about how light it was. Big topic, yeah. So that's a big factor for them. Potentially into commercial, uh, into workplaces as well as a possibility, and also trains, but also another big one has been with the farms. Yep. So with the summer that we've had recently, yeah. uh, we've had examples where, again, it's actually helped to um, suppress and buy time 
for uh, combine harvesters going on fire. Well, yeah, because obviously the a the cost of them, b the size yeah. and what they have inside is massively flammable. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But I think on that point, it's important to remember that fire safety, like any fire extinguisher, it's all about catching that fire at the early stages. Okay, yeah. so once the fire gets to a certain size, no matter what extinguisher you use, how many you have, there, how many you're pointing, yeah, it's about safety. It's about getting out to safety. Obviously, making sure the fire brigade, you know, are called. That point so again always remember it's only to a certain size it won't do massive you know buildings on fire sorts of yeah you run in with that's your stick limit. like i can do it yeah, exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> that's been and i think also with the, with the cars for instance yeah. also bear in mind is how to handle that fire yes obviously it's got the great versatility to it but for instance obviously if you've got a, a, an engine uh, on fire whatever you own the bonnet which is quite common if you say blow a rod or whatever yeah exactly common one yeah. so obviously it would be tempting just to lift the bonnet up and deal with it. Of course you would, because naturally I would think, just pop the bonnet, open it, see what's going on, but I'm guessing it's not right. Exactly, <laughs> absolutely. So the problem with that is, you've got oxygen going in there. Yeah. That's going to be feeding the fire, so you're going to have more problems with it. So the strictly, ideally, depending on the situation, is you're going to have your back to the car, yeah. open the bonnet, partially. What, like, what, like when I release it, it just clicks exactly. up enough. Exactly, just a little yeah. gap, because then you can use the fire safety stick underneath it, just yeah. there, to start to feed the, the, the discharge into the engine bay, that's starting to control the fire, starting to press and then it already. You slowly open it so that you're not going to let oxygen you come control. in. You've got exactly. your fire stick. Exactly. But so the top tip is doing with your back there, so you're not facing it yourself because you've got the risks and obviously the heat coming to your face yeah, and what have you. So you're risking the yeah, bait. Good. I mean, you've got, am I right in saying you've got a TikTok, YouTube? We'll yeah. Put all their links to their socials down in the description. Definitely go check them out because there's some funny ones, there's some stuff where they've shown the durability. Um, dropping them, drilling them, cutting them, banging them, then using them still. So they're very durable. I was going to say, it's a bit extreme. We wouldn't yeah. normally do that, but it just proves that they're how durable they are, really. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Versus, and there's loads of other great things like how to use them and all that kind of stuff. So definitely worth checking out. I'll put all that down in the description for you. So the home. I mean, they say most accidents happen, happen at home. A, you spend most of your time there, and B... Is, well, exactly, yeah. that, <laughs> I, I, exactly, that. and I think because there's a couple of reasons to bear in mind that as well, because obviously it's great for cooking because it does cook in all fires as well, so the, it's one of the few extinguishers that you can actually use in that situation, Yeah. because generally you don't, because it creates a fireball, okay, course, but yeah. it's fire safety, absolutely fine for it, so that's it. but also if, um, God forbid, you're upstairs and there's fire downstairs, because you've got such a long discharge time, you could be using that to suppress in the fire to aid your escape out of the building. Yeah, yeah that's, because that's one of, I think, the, probably the most scariest things mm. for me, if you are upstairs, the last thing I want to do is throw my five-year-old daughter out the window, but then again, I wouldn't want to leave her in the building and I don't want to take her yeah. down through the fire. So that's a really good point. I can see why they are. The the other thing I was going to say, actually, while we're on the subject is, how does someone go about buying one of these? Right, okay, so if you go on our website, we've got lots of distributors out there. Yep. Okay, uh, if you go to our website, we've got where to buy there, and you see distributors all over the country, but all online as well, almost Fantastic. online. So, can, so yeah. easy, easy to get yeah. and so easy to fit. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. Absolutely. Even if you wanted to put it in your glove box, if you wanted to have it somewhere safe, even if you didn't want to screw it in or anything yeah. like that, still doable. Brilliant, absolutely, yeah. Fantastic. Cool. Well, I can, I can really see the impact, and, and Rob's standing there nodding as well, as to why you'd want one of these. And a lot of people at Stone in all the kit car shows, and when we go to track days, they all have them because I think you realise the importance of motorsport is dangerous. Yeah. And if you watch anything, whether it be Formula One or anything, you've yeah. seen cars crash and then... Exactly. Instantly into flames. And, and I think it's, it's the kit cars especially, because of the, 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 the fuel lines you've got there now, and especially with the E10 fuel, that's rotting those rubber um, fuel lines so easily now that you can so very easily get an uh, engine fire as a result, result of that. It's madness. Madness. Right, shall we uh, go and put one of these things? Yeah, use? why not? Let's go. Lid off. Strike it. Come out here. No damage, no mess. That's 25 seconds. Yeah. It seems like forever. More. So it's as simple Can as you, that. Yeah, simple as that. Can you imagine if that was a 50 second? And let's, so let me so show this now. So this is. That gets warm. It's warm, but it's not yeah. hot, hot. So you've got your, your warning bits. And that's it, literally just 
A small amount of the top. Yeah. I won't touch it because it's probably quite yeah, hot yeah, out of the top. Yeah. But that's what the handle's there for. And that's it. That is, and that's put out now, petrol. Put out petrol again. Aluminium, plastic. So yeah. once that's cooled down, you can recycle it. That's so, right. And traditional extinguishers, you have to really get and I mean, paint to take away. In in the circumstance of a fire, probably in your home, in your car, you would naturally be a little bit frightened, and it's yeah. going to be. But that and that is not hard to remember. And, and you've got to remember and, it's about catching the fire early. And, yeah, and you're pointing it at the fire. Let and the like you did, do the work. you just worked it towards where the flames were. Yeah, fine. And, and again, if you saw, there is a. It does project out. It's yeah. a case about keeping it at arm's length and the flames aren't coming back because the vapors are pushing it forward. And so you're just pushing it out. And if you weren't certain, you could quite happily just stand there for the entirety of this going out. Oh yeah. And oh, would you recommend that? A hundred percent. If it was, this was fuel. So once it's out, it's out. Yeah. If it was something that has got residual heat, you, what you want to do is full, leave the full discharge. And if it was an engine that was hot, you might as well just leave the whole 50 seconds or 100 seconds to discharge on it. It's not going to cause any damage, but you're going to reduce that uh, ability for it to re light. If I move the camera, do you want to just talk me through how I would put out yeah, an engine five? Because I think that's really important. Yeah. If I give you that back yeah. for a second. Right, so if we say, I'm on a track day and I can see flames, flames come coming out, out of here, which yeah. is quite possible because yeah. the turbo is right there. Yeah. How would I attack this right. with the fire stick? Last thing you want to do with any extinguisher, not just the fire stick, you don't want to be getting that bonnet I find this and then ripping it up and it was just, just what's going to happen you're going to let a load of air in and it potentially could come back in your face so if you're on a track day and stuff like that you're normally going to be in like you know fireproof stuff but the idea is even if it's just your normal car is don't lift it all the way up do the catch be careful this might be hot but if you catch it caught it early enough this ain't going to be too hot so just be careful of that and if you've got your gloves on yeah you, what you want to do is you want to have it almost to your back yeah. You want to get your vapor, your normal extinguisher, okay? And you want to be getting the vapors in there or the extinguisher in there, and you're lifting it bit by bit. And as you're doing this, yeah. you're kind of getting in there. What you don't want to do, you don't want to lift this up because what it's going to do is going to get a load of air in. Whereas, like, if you've worked it in there as you're lifting it, there, it, it shouldn't can, be yeah. and of course, too much on top. With a, you know, <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. The fire's not going to be sitting right there, <laughs> yeah. you know, like isolated to one small yeah, spot. But you can go. just do that. It's going to be somewhere hidden just as well. The great thing with a uh, fire stick, you can get it in the nooks and crannies and get I was, it. So I was literally just about back. to say if I could borrow this, yeah, because yeah. the turbo's at the back, so you could quite easily get it safely yeah. as long as flames aren't coming that's out. That's it. Well, you're, you're working it back. I mean, you can barely see that on camera now. That's nearly yeah. touching the turbo. So. And we've had customers where the fire's been on a mid-engine or something at the back. And they've and got a small little tiny bonnet that lifts yeah, up. And, and they've, just... they've managed to actually put the fire out by nuking it in there. Don't forget, this is the really important thing. This has got flames coming out of it. Don't bother doing it. Get, out, get you're, yourself you're past, to safety. You're past. I mean, you could, I guess you could start it and, and put it somewhere safe if it's safe to do yeah. so, but it could also... How much is it going to do, realistically? Get yourself to safety, yeah. don't bother. If it's coming, licking out. What we don't want to do is tell people, like, you know, it's not a magic stick. It's yeah. about catching the fire early enough, getting it down. If it's already established, get yourself to safety. With the old classic cars, and I know this has happened because we haven't got the under tray and the yeah. protective bit, what has someone's done, left the bonnet, they've actually activated it, and what they've done is they've just left it there. And what's happened? The vapors have gone through the engine, hit, hit the, the bonnet, bonnet and come back down. And it's kind of repressed that fire and actually held it back where the fire stopped down, then they've come up and then they've done it. I think so, that's again, the importance with that. Is, old cars. <laughs> is, is how to use it, isn't it? That's the key thing is knowing what to use it on and how to use it. But like you said, if, for, for aid of escape, 100% yep. use it. Yeah. If, if it's safe to do so. If the fire is massive, yeah. you've you got to take the, the it's it. not safe to do yeah. so. But no, I think that's, yeah. that's and, Thank you for showing me that. Because I think it's important that people know, even with a traditional extinguisher, how to attack that. Because oh, I, yeah. I would quite happily just open the bonnet uh, and this is where it is you open that bonnet you've let in a load of uh, oxygen and then it's you've almost a small fire's gone into a bigger one really quickly so it's important but yeah i mean i'd like to just thank um andrew and sergio just to, for letting us here showing us how it works letting us set something on fire and putting it out because that's amazing and it's, it's great to see how they use so any questions down in the comments we'll be happy to answer them andrew's going to monitor them as well so he can answer them probably better than i will uh, and correctly <laughs> and if you'd like to look at buying one or their TikTok, their social media see how they work a bit more then all the details will be down in the description thanks for watching and thanks for having us mate